एग्जाम्पल डिटर्मन द स्मॉलेस्ट आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्रिक्स दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स ए एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग द शिफ्टेड पावर मेथड एंड स्टार्ट विद द वेक्टर दिस वन एंड द आइगन वैल्यू लैम्डा व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 7.6898 ओके सो दिस मीन दिस विल बी द लार्जेस्ट आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग द शिफ्टेड पावर मेथड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सॉल्यूशन we have an iterative equation x of i plus 1 which is equal to a minus lambda i into x of i okay so far i is equal iteration 1 for i is equal to 1 we have the initial vector this one and uh, the lambda value which is equal to 7.6898 okay so after substituting uh, in this equation the matrix a value of lambda and the matrix and the and the vector this we have a new equation this will be equal to x of 2 which is equal to this is the matrix a this is the lambda largest eigen value and this is the a uh, three cross three identity matrix and this is our starting vector x of 1 0 0 1 and after multiplying or the after solving this equation and this we which is equal to minus 2 1 and minus 11.6898 now we will normalize in this vector by taking common the largest absolute value and then we divide this vector by the largest value okay so here we have this is the eigen value of the shifted matrix and this is our normalized vector okay here we can see that when we multiply the ma ma shifted matrix with the vector we have a lambda shifted and the normalized vector x okay so how how uh, how we normalized and uh, normalize this vector by taking the absolute value when we take the absolute of this vector all the values will be positive and then we take the largest eigen we will take the largest value uh, common and then we divide uh, this vector by the largest value uh, then this will be the uh, then we will get the normalized vector okay so here we have a normalized vector and the lambda shifted okay now we have a new vector x2 which is equal to 0.17 Double one minus zero point zero eight five five and one. Okay, so now we will calculate the error uh, in the solution by subtracting uh, x of two minus x of one by. Okay, so error in the solution maximum absolute of x of two minus x of one should be less than the given tolerance in the solution 0.0001 okay so we have error which is equal to this is the vector x of 2 new calculated and this is the given vector 001 and this after subtracting we have there will be the here will be absolute maximum okay absolute maximum which is equal to 0.1711 which is greater than 0.0001 okay so this mean we have to uh, continue our iterations so for i is equal to 2 we have second iteration now the normalized vector x of 2 is this one and is multiplied by the shifted matrix this one so this will give us a new vector x of 3 which is equal to a, a normal a shifted matrix into the previous normalized vector x2 okay so after we have this is the shifted matrix this one shifted matrix this one okay into the vector new normalized vector x2 this will when we multiply shifted matrix with the vector x2 this will give us a new vector then 
now we again norm normalize this vector how by taking the uh, uh, absolute uh, first we take the absolute of this vector this will uh, then this will be positive this will be positive and this will also be positive then we take the largest value common and divide this vector by the largest eigen value and largest value means 11.86.607 okay then we will get a normalized vector like that okay so this is the uh, largest eigen value and uh, this is the normalized vector x or this is the sh lambda shifted okay so now we have a new vector x3 which is equal to this one okay now we will again check the error in the solution by subtracting x3 minus x2 and then we will check whether the error in the solution is less than given tolerance or not okay so here we can see that we have to we have a formula to calculate the error in the solution that is the a maximum absolute of x3 minus x2 should be less than or equal to the this value okay so now we can see that there will be absolute and maximum okay so this will after subtracting this one we can see that we have 0 0.0652 which is again not less than 0.001 so this mean we have to do more iterations okay so now we will uh, further proceed toward the uh, iteration number 3 iteration number 3 for i is equal to 3 now the normalized vector x of 3 which is equal to this one is multiplied with the shifted matrix this one okay so this will give us a new vector x of 4 which is equal to shifted matrix into the vector x3 so after multiplying the shifted matrix with the vector we get this vector and now we normalize again this vector okay so after normalizing we have lambda shifted this one and this is the normalized vector x and now we have a new vector x4 which is equal to this one and uh, now we again calculate the error in the solution so uh, we have a formula maximum of absolute of x4 minus 3 should be less than or equal to the tolerance and uh, again there will be absolute and maximum first we take the absolute of after subtracting uh, this one and this one uh, after subtracting we take the absolute and then we will check the maximum value which is equal to 0 0.0190 again this is not less than the given tolerance 0 0.001 this mean we will uh, further do uh, iterations okay so now we have iteration number four we have uh, the vector normalized vector this one is multiplied with the shifted matrix and uh, so this will give us a new vector x of 5 okay so it will be 5 okay so again after multiplying the shifted matrix with the vector x4 we have a new vector and we normal normalize this vector and after normalizing we have a lambda shifted and the corresponding eigen value eigen vector are the normalized vector x okay so now we have a new vector this one now we will again calculate the error in the solution and absolute and maxima okay so this will be equal to this one uh, after subtracting and uh, uh, after subtracting this one uh, this one and this one okay then we have the new vector then we will take the absolute after taking absolute we we check the maximum we take the maximum value and this will be the maximum value and uh, here we can see that this is again not less than the uh, given tolerance in this solution but we can see that after doing iterations the error in this solution is decreasing first 
in the third th uh, iteration the error is this one and in fourth iteration is less error is less than this iteration okay uh, 0 0.0190 and which is the error in the fourth iteration is less than in the third from the third iteration okay now we again continue our iterations so after three more iterations we have iteration number eight for i is equal to eight now the normalized vector in the iteration number eight is this one is multiplied with the uh, shifted matrix this will give us a new vector and that is x of eight which is equal to uh, the lamp uh, shifted matrix into the previous vector x of seven okay so after multiplying the shift matrix with the vector x7 this will give us a new vector and we again normalize this vector after normalizing we have uh, lambda shifted okay lambda shifted and the corresponding normalized eigen vector or the normalized vector x okay so now we have a vector this one and uh, uh, x of it which is equal to this one and now we again check the error in the solution okay so error in the solution which is equal to maximum absolute value of x of 8 minus x of 7 should be less than or equal to this one okay so absolute and maximum okay so after subtracting we have uh, error in the solution is this one which is equal to 0 0.0000 which is com completely zero and uh, which is uh, less than the uh, provided error and that uh, tolerance in the solution 0 0.001 okay so this mean we will stop the iterations after eight iteration okay so here you can see that the MATLAB generated error graph as the number of iteration as the number of iterations increasing the error in the solution is decreasing the error in the solution and completely zero after eight iteration you can see that the error in the solution after eight iteration is completely zero okay so now uh, we have uh, a formula to calculate the smallest eigenvalue therefore the smallest eigenvalue of the shifted matrix becomes x of 8 which is equal to alpha 7 plus lambda 1 alpha 7 is the a eigen shifted eigenvalue and this is the largest eigenvalue of the matrix so lambda 8 is equal to minus 11 point uh, minus 11.5857 plus the largest eigenvalue and its mean lambda of 8 which is equal to minus 3.8959 is the smallest eigenvalue of the matrix a okay so this is the way how we can calculate the uh, smallest eigenvalue uh, of the matrix using the uh, shifted power matrix we can also calculate the largest eigenvalue on the same steps by we calculate the a largest a smallest eigenvalue okay so in next lecture we will write a matlab code for the shifted power method thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math